Engines have become an essential part of our daily lives. Now, without engines, a car, motorcycle, truck, or even a plane is just a big useless metal crap. Unlike the engines in our cars, the engines in planes are specially designed and highly sophisticated. During World War I, the first working internal combustion engine for use in an aircraft was built, but unlike in the past, there are numerous types of aircraft engines available today, including piston, wankel, turbine, and steam-powered engines, to name a few. Based on a few parameters such as thrust, power, and total capacity, we've compiled a list of the 10 most powerful aircraft engines in the world. Progress D-18T The Progress D-18T is a high-bypass turbofan aircraft engine designed specifically for heavy transport aircraft. It was created by Evchenko Progress with the needs of a heavy aircraft in mind. The Progress D-18Ts are currently only used for Antonov AN-124 and AN-225 strategic airlifters. The engine weighs 4,100 kg dry and has a maximum thrust of 230 kN or 51,700 pounds of force. Only 188 units of this engine have been produced since 1982 due to its limited use. General Electric CF-6 the General Electric CF-6 is one of General Electric Aviation's most powerful series of high-bypass turbofan engines. It is currently used in a variety of commercial aircraft, including Airbus A300, A310, A330, Boeing 747, 767, and McDonnell Douglas. The engine has two high-pressure and four low-pressure turbines, with a maximum thrust of 274 kN or 62,000 pounds of force. Furthermore, it is 4.65 meters long and weighs more than 4,100 kilograms. Rolls-Royce Trent 700 The Rolls-Royce Trent 700 turbofan engine is primarily used in the modern Airbus A330. Rolls-Royce planned to design a new, more powerful and heavier engine to comply with the new A330's increased weight in the late 1980s, which they later named Trent 700. It entered service with Cathay Pacific in March 1995 with a maximum thrust rating of 316 kilonewtons. The Trent 700 EP or Enhanced Performance was introduced in 2009 as an upgraded version of the Trent 700 with some necessary improvements. General Electric Gen X The General Electric Gen X, in short for Next Generation Engine, is a high-performance bypass turbofan jet engine based on General Electric's GE90 engine. It makes use of many of the GE90's features, including the revolutionary composite fan technology. The engine first saw commercial use in 2008, and it is used as a frontline engine in the Boeing 747A and 787 Dreamliner. It has a dry weight of 5,800 kg and a maximum thrust of up to 330 kN. It also has fuel burn reduction technology, which aids in engine noise reduction. Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 The Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engine, which evolved from previous generations of Trent engines, was designed to meet the requirements of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Boeing decided in 2004 to give customers the option of choosing between two engines in their new Dreamliner series. As a result, the General Electric Gen X and Trent 1000 models were completed. Trent 1000 powered the first Boeing 787 on both its maiden test flight and its first commercial flight. The engine weighs more than 6,000 kg dry and has a maximum thrust of 265.3 to 360.4 kN. Engine Alliance GP7000 The Engine Alliance GP7000 is a turbofan jet engine that currently powers the Airbus A380, the world's largest passenger airliner. It debuted in April 2004 as the result of a collaboration between General Electric and Pratt and & Whitney, two of the world's three largest aircraft engine manufacturers. Well, in my opinion, it should have been called the Super Engine Alliance. Rolls-Royce Trent 900 
The Trent 900 is a turbofan engine series and a member of the Trent engine family. It was first used in 2004 and has four variants that are used in various aircraft. It has a 116-inch wide low-pressure compressor fan and a total weight of more than 6,200 kilograms. It is equipped with one of the most powerful engines. With a maximum thrust value of 374 kN, it is also the first engine in this family to have an advanced engine health monitoring system installed. Rolls-Royce Trent XWB The Rolls-Royce Trent XWB is a turbofan jet engine family that powers the Airbus A350 XWB. It was successfully tested for the first time in 2010 and was designed to compete with the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. It comes in five sizes, with the largest fan measuring 118 inches in diameter. The maximum thrust of the advanced version is 430 kilonewtons. These engines are used by Rolls-Royce and Qatar Airways and Airbus A350-1000. Pratt & Whitney PW4000 the Pratt & Whitney PW4000-112 is the most recent member of the PW4000 family. This engine has a higher thrust range than any of the previous variants. In 1984, Pratt & Whitney began producing the PW400 for the first time. Many airliners use it, including Airbus, Boeing and McDonnell Douglas MD-11. First appeared in commercial aviation in 1995, as one of the three options for Boeing 777 variants. The second most powerful engine, PW4000, has a thrusting power ranging from 222 to 441 kilonewtons. The General Electric GE90 The GE90's unique blade design was inspired by NASA's high-energy efficient experimental prop fan, GE36. After the GE36 concept was abandoned due to technical and financial issues, General Electric incorporated the same fan design into their newly designed GE90 and made it commercially available. The engine made its first successful debut in 1995, powering British Airways' entire new Boeing 777 fleet. One of the major reasons why the world's major airlines see the 777-300ER as a future replacement for the much popular 747-400 is due to the higher thrust and lower operating costs provided by the GE90. The engine blades are made of composite materials, allowing it to operate at much higher temperature. It is used in one of the largest planes, the Boeing 777, and it has a world record thrust rating ranging from 330 to 513 kilonewtons. It powered three 777 variants, the 200LR, the 300ER, and the 200F. And with this, the bus is signing off for today, but don't forget to check out our other videos. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button. And thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.